Um, so eight thirtieths minus one twentieth. So our technique is not to immediately multiply by 20 over 20 and 30 over 30, because that'll leave us a lot of work to do. But our first step is to go to find a lowest common denominator. All right. So if you guys want to just write that out like that, we're trying to find the lowest common denominator. There's a couple of ways of doing it. But I suggest the first thing you do is try to think what what's the biggest number that goes into both 30 and 20. Just kind of think of that and write it down. So the biggest number that goes into both 30 and 20? 10. Yeah. Or factorize the bottoms is another way of doing it. So, but we know that 10 goes into both, right? So this guy is 10 times 3, right? And this guy is 10 times 2. And just factorizing that like that is going to help us to get to the lowest common denominator a lot quicker. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And so now you're going to multiply by something over something to make the bottoms the same. So take your time and just write it down and see if you can get it. This is the key step. If we get this part figured out, then the rest is easy. So any questions on this part? Are we figuring this one out? So basically we want both bottoms to be the same. So what number do we plug in here and here to make the bottoms the same then? Um, two on the left and three on the right. Right. Everyone okay with that? Okay. And again, so now we have two times 10 times three, which is 60 and 10 times 2 times 3, which is also 60. So, so our lowest common denominator is 60, basically. And on the left, we multiply by 2 over 2, and the right, multiply by 3 over 3, right? So 2 times 8. And 1 times 3 is 3. So we get 16 sixtieths minus 3 sixtieths, or sixtieths. You okay with that? Yeah. yeah. So now you've got the same bottom, so you can combine the tops. Thirteen sixtieths? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'll just run through another method that some students like, which is perfectly fine. You can think, I'm trying to find the lowest common multiple of 30 and 20. So I've got 30, and two of those is 60, three of those is 90, and so on. 20 goes 20, 40, 60, 80, and so on. And the lowest common multiple is 60. So you can find it that way as well and see, I need 60th, so I'll multiply this guy by 2. I'll multiply this guy by 3 to get 60. So that's another way of doing it, right? Well, once again, real quick, what would have been cumbersome is to just multiply this guy by 20 over 20, and this guy by 30 over 30, because then we get 160 over 600 minus 30 over 600, which is uh, 130 over 600, which is, I guess, 13 over 60. So, I mean, you get there in the end, it's just a cumbersome way, and I, I want students to learn how to get the lowest common multiple anyway, because it's, it's an important thing to know how to do for future classes.